Hello everyone, Stakuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video in our A to Z Kaiser Redux game. We have been battling our way to get through everything, and guys, we, we just, I thought, I thought from the previous episode that we had just cleared out the A's when we did the Austrian Empire, but I was wrong. Austria is in fact not the last state on this list for the A's. No, I think it's the next one, unless I, I completely forgot to check here again. Um, but we have Azerbaijan, the first nation that we would be playing in this game that does not actually have a focus tree, like its own unique focus tree. But simultaneously, it is still riddled with effects here that are going to hurt it. And I think from that, have no way to actually get rid of them. I don't know. So as you can probably imagine, this is going to be a little bit of a hellish ride in the first place, but there's another little feature that we're going to start introducing to the rest of this campaign here that I want your all's input on. In the previous episode, when I played as the Austrian Empire, one of the criticisms that I got in my comments was saying that I once again chose the like fascist route and that I've done this repeatedly. And I went back and looked at things and I believe there is a point of merit there here in that criticism that I have ended up choosing similar ideologies again and again because typically speaking when we're looking at stuff in history the uh the 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 fascist routes have a tendency to be the most batshit insane them and some of the communist ones but usually in a lot of these it's the fascist ones so i thought okay you know what you're right we need to do something to make sure that all of these different gameplays that we're going to be doing are unique and something is going to be different well i say that to make it different but it could end up being the same thing but we're gonna introduce an element of chance to all of this, guys. I would like to introduce you to something that I used to use in a lot of my streams, the wheel. On each color segment of this wheel, you can see that there is a different letter that is written on it. What I've decided to do is to put a letter representing each ideology on here in the base. Obviously, within this mod, there's a lot more than simply democratic, fascist, communist, etc. but I figured that this would be the easiest representation, and then from there, the different sub-ideologies can be chosen depending on what happens within the game, but we're still going to to aim for that particular type of ideology overall for that umbrella. Because I'm using green screen right now, you can uh, see right here that green is blank. So what is going to end up happening from that is that if it lands on green, I have to do a respin. But yeah, welcome to the new feature that's gonna be part of these videos, an element of chance for us to determine what happens. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and begin and determine what it is that we're going to be shooting here for, for Azerbaijan. And democratic Azerbaijan. Lovely. Uh, yeah, this is, oh my God, I don't even know what I'm going to expect from this. What am I going to be able to do? Well, let's find out, I guess. As always, for anyone who is unfamiliar with Kaiser Redux, it is the more extreme version of Kaiser Reich, the world in which Germany won World War I. The world looks very different at this point in time, and everything is very broken. And we, as Azerbaijan, do not actually have a focus tree. We, we, I mean, we do, but we don't have anything unique. It's all the same thing with generic effects that aren't really powerful. We have a grand total of two research slots we're behind on everything for equipment and uh we have basically nothing in terms of anything else here our economy yeah no we got we got six civvies that, that that's it great at least we have a copious amount of oil oh my god i actually did not expect this what the hell that could be great for us trade wise but you know what we'll, we'll see what happens because from the beginning of the game, we start with two horrible national spirits, German investments, which gives extra trade of ours to Germany, and it hurts our stability, but the trade-off is that it does at least give us better benefits for oil, so it does give us more stuff. We are the OPEC, but like a German exclusive. And then simultaneously, Armenian terrorism, because we are having to still deal with uh, all of this crap over here that is still under the rule of the Ottomans. So that's hurting my stability even more. I don't know what's going to happen from that. We start out with a somewhat decent army, I will say here from the beginning and you know what let's just see what it is that we can do civilian factory wise let's go ahead and get our infrastructure up and we're going to pump all of this into here into baku to pump up oil production so that hopefully maybe we can trade more of it away and since we already start as you know social conservative democrat there really is nothing for us to do political wise so we might as well start beelining down industry in order to get a little bit of something going there's no point in reading any of this because it's not going to give me anything to do here in the first place military industry wise i'm producing a, a set of guns okay Hey, nice. That's it. Well, my friends, let's go ahead and jump into this and see what the world has in store for us, including the assassination of the Russian president. Yep, there's the Berlin stock crisis, which we don't actually have any focuses to get rid of, which means that we're going to be stuck in this and it's going to hurt us for 365 days. So we're just screwed and go from 11% stability down to what will we do? 2%. 2% stability in the Caucasus. Yep, that makes way more sense, you know, to be honest. Yep. Okay, with industrial methods done, that means next up on here, industrial grants, then centers, then 
then yeah we don't need any military factories we have got to boost ourselves here right now industry all the way beeline for just that in fact actually wait i'm realizing should i go here political reform spirit of freedom more political power political power again university grants which at least gives me some research speed so my two research slots get better and welfare programs minus five percent yeah th th there is nothing for me to do over here military wise and if i go down here to technology sharing it would give me a benefit of a research slot but that's only if i had factories that are more than 50. i won't be able to do anything there so we do just have to beeline down here then this is literally the, just the generic focus tree there's nothing even special in this mod agricultural crisis strikes ukraine wow that is topical considering everything that is going on today like literally this past week i don't know if it's going to be out on the time that i'm releasing this but my history page actually has an episode here on the uh, ukrainian food crisis that's going on right now because of russia all right there's industrial grants now industrial centers get that going more civilian factories that ultimately don't really do much and concentrate all of our industry to increase the power that's all we can do Polish republic joins the reichspakt oh they actually they, they they went they didn't side against germany interesting oh my god i'm just now realizing german investments that's reducing my political power that badly i won't be able to do anything to change myself even if i wanted to what pedro pablo ramirez restores order to argentina and the rest of the world is i'm not going to say the term stabilizing because it's probably not true okay 100 political power early mobilization decrease our consumer goods to be able to do a little bit more now national infrastructure we got to beeline our way down to those research slots oh shoot wait i'm realizing no 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 i built that infrastructure the germans have resource rights in here meaning that all that oil that i was building i don't even have are you kidding me well i guess we're building it here then well that was a waste of like six months of building then okay everything in asia is tearing itself apart all right that's the usual does it affect me not necessarily alf landon elected president of the usa wait really landon not like huey long isn't that usually what ends up happening or something huh that is i i did not expect that hold on are we gonna have a united states that doesn't actually tear itself apart the vidkin quisling's counter revolution a norwegian nationalist oh oh taking charge over there in norway then huh oh god asia really is tearing itself apart um today is eid al fatir yeah it's eid yay that means we can go up here next level right no i can't i can't go partial mobilization my war support has dropped lovely might as well start to get to army experience then and continue to build my railways because now we have a somewhat viable industry maybe rand's rebellion in south africa wait canada declared war on the south african people's union south africa went communist what oh my god what oh no it's not even like african led though it's like william henry andrews what i have never seen that before that's fascinating uh the mysore state declaring war against the indians all right even more stuff is tearing itself apart over on this side nope standoff in america it's getting more chaotic all right well i guess that was bound to happen at least we can finally get some research then and since we won't be able to do anything over here as the second american civil war breaks out we might as well just launch a police crackdown and start increasing our own stability because that's really all that we can do I, I i can't i can't do anything i can't send volunteers i can't do crap this is just me like trying to build up an economy and wait for the whole world to burn down around me in hindsight this wheel thing might have been a mistake here either that or azerbaijan itself was a mistake georgia has nationalized the baku Pori pipeline their relationship with georgia has never been strong they allowed us to invest and construct a new pipeline and then they nationalized nationalized it wait a minute wait a minute georgia most of the funding for the pipeline was from our government news just reached us that the georgian government decided to nationalize their part of the pipeline and take the profits for themselves wait a minute does georgia have a focus tree they oh my god they have so many more effects do they have a they do have a focus tree oh my god georgia has a much better thing than us uh, <laughs> uh well great great i'm just gonna put my forces there on that side and hope to god that they don't attack me and train my troops up and all right we got a research slot but i can't i i, I can't do anything else because i don't have more than 50 factories am i just stuck here with three research slots and like this is the best that i can do <laughs> great and that that's lovely you know I, completely lovely i guess i do need to go ahead and buy a piece of steel then just so i can do something and then actually get some military factories spanish civil war breaks out so that is happening would i even be able to send over help would i be able to do anything that sardom restored whoa 
Wait, the Russia, they restored the Tsar. They restored the Tsar? I don't think I've seen Russia actually do that yet for going down the more imperial path again. Wow, definitely did not expect that to happen. Now oh, there goes Africa tearing itself apart here and Republicans win in Greece. The Tsardom unites Russia. The great Russian empire's return in glory with the restoration of the House of Roman up to power. Most believe that the empire had been destroyed in 1917, but the tumultuous Republic has now given way to an empire. What the hell? The Russian monarchy lives on. I did not expect that to happen. I, I did not see it happening that quickly or efficiently. Wait, that is probably going to spell disaster here for me for Azerbaijan. Oh God, Russian monarchy was never good for me. Evil's Republic of Turkey. Wait, when do we have a communist revolution over on this side? What? God, everyone around us gets more interesting stuff than Azerbaijan. I, I, this might have been a mistake. Oh, wait, Russian Empire declares war on the People's Republic of Turkestan, so that is happening, and wait, Obenberg, Cossack Coast. Are they Imperial? Yeah, yeah, they're in the same faction. Uh, uh, I marveled at your existence, and now you die. And there goes the Fourth Balkan War. Lovely. Everyone in the world is tearing themselves apart, and I need them to because we have to get tension up to 75%. Otherwise, I'm not actually allowed to justify in anyone or do anything, apparently. Whoa, wait, 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 what is this? What is this? Ottoman Azeri Anti-Terrorist Committee. That's a great idea. Yeah. Hey, the neighboring village Evit under the leadership has approached us with an idea to create a joint anti-terrorist terrorist organization directed at eradicating Armenian terrorism. Yeah, that's definitely something that I want to get myself involved with and declare on the internet that I'm getting involved in anti-Armenian terrorism. Them? That makes a lot of sense. 1937 elections. Well, the Musafat stays strong. That's right. Social conservative, a coalition victory, or market liberalism. Well, no. The social conservatives are great, and there's no worry about it whatsoever. Social conservatives, no election. How is there no election? What do you mean there's no election? We already had our election. What is going on? And I've done everything here on my industrial side. There's nothing else I can do there. So I guess some political reform in order to be able to get less consumer goods. Yeah, that, that's all that we're probably going to be able to do. Hey, it's Eid. How nice. And I can finally go up here to partial mobilization. 1938, no plans whatsoever to be able to do anything. Oh, Austria declaring we're on uh, Hungary. There goes the crisis in the Danube. Okay, well, Hungary, Hungary, uh, I think you bit off a little bit more than you can chew. Were you a little bit too hungry? <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll be quiet now. Hey, hey, what do you mean unrest? No, 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 no. The territory of Azerbaijan, a popular unrest began. Shortly after that, a number of explosions took place in the city directly against the Azerbaijani majority. Now Azerbaijani militia forces have entered the city, which have engaged in a fight with local residents. Um, what? Don't destroy, oh my God, I said don't destroy my stuff, but uh, this is getting even worse over here. Shortly after the incident, our affiliate with the permission of the Ottoman government sent forces to the region in order to join forces with the Azerbaijan and disperse. Oh, okay, so this is the this is the effective over here of the Vilayet of uh, of uh, uh, Erevan. Have we managed? How have we managed to lose them this time? We failed. We failed. Wait, we didn't fail. No, 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 no. That was the the Eilat that failed. Great, great. I lose even more stability. All right, so unite the nation. This will give me army experience and actually more recruitable population, which I may want. I may want, and it increases my own defense on my core territory, but the other stuff will actually decrease my consumer goods and allow me to produce things. You know what? I would really want this here, but no, no, it's true. It's true. I, I, I got to get that population. My population is already going to be low as it is. We got to unite the nation and prepare ourselves militarily for what is to come. I lose Berlin stock crisis. Let's go up another level in conscription so we can get some more population in here for our troops. And Austrian Empire declared on the West Ukrainian People's Republic. Wait, Ukraine is tearing itself apart now. Oh, oh, well, that's that's interesting. Ah, the Balkans never looked so peaceful, you know? Japan going after the Philippines, Honduras going after Nicaragua, and the nation is united even as the world itself tears itself apart. You know, that that's just how we got to roll. Wait, 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 wait. The people's... How do you still exist? How did the Russian Empire take over all this territory and leave this little sliver of the People's Republic of Turkmenistan? Why? Why? Now the People's Republic of Turkmenistan has declared war on the Russian Empire again. For what? For what? Why? What purpose? Russia, you're uniting all of this again. Why? I don't understand the AI. Well, People's Republic of Turkestan, you were once again alive and once again had a very short life. All right, military youth, get ourselves some actual recruitable population. That is going to be good. Even as we continue to try to pump out some more units, but there's not really much else that we can do on this side. B the BZNS takes power in Bulgaria. Following the overwhelming loss in the Balkan War against the powerful Belgrade Pact, it seems... Wait, stop pop-ups. Uh, oh, Hungary is now gone. 
on. Okay, everything over here is happening. What was the BZNS? What happened over here? Social conservatives, Boris. Okay, well, uh, good good luck to you then. No, it's the Democrats. Dang, Bulgaria got creamed. <laughs> Latvia declaring war on Estonia. That is happening up here in the Balkans. Okay, Lithuania also looking kind of thick over on this side. Oh, and Latvia is murdering Estonia right now from the looks of it. Okay, well, nothing else is really happening just yet. And I suppose the only resource that we have being oil and us needing as much production as possible, the only thing we can really do here is go to free trade and hopefully trade away all of our oil for stuff. I, I don't know. We need the extra production and research and everything because I can't do anything else. Declaration of the People's Republic of Argentina. Uh oh, the commies won. Ar whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 what? Whoa, whoa, what was that? Armenia? Armenia? What would happen with Armenia? The Republic of Syria declared war? War in the desert? Persia declared? What is happening? Wait, that Eilat, the Eilat, it, it revolted. It's the Great Syrian Revolt, which means the Armenians are attacking now. And I still can't do anything because world tension isn't great enough yet. Oh God, everyone is declaring on the Ottomans. Okay, okay. And with that, that's all of these. T t I, I can't do anything. I, I, I don't have the factories. I can't, I, I'm not in a faction. I can't, I literally can't do anything. So I guess we figure out modern warfare then. And I still won't be able to justify until the world's at 75% tension. God dang it. Oh, there's Serbia going after Illyria. So that is something that is happening. Okay. The Balkans are getting even more spicy right now. And wait, what is this? What, 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 what is this thing? Why does it say occupy? What, what, what is this? I don't get it, but, um, oh, wow. It looks like the Ottomans are. The Ottomans actually winning down here? Oh my God, they are. They're eating into Persia. I've never seen the Ottomans actually do well. What? Seriously, I've never seen that before. And then, you know, of course, the chief of staff, we have to go with the school of mass combat because we need extra bonuses for infantry and also that recruitable population of which I have very little. Armenia has joined the Tabriz Accords. I don't know what that means here. Germany proposes a single currency, count us in factory output, but I lose. Yeah, you know what? Sure, count us in, increase my factory output. I can't do anything else myself anyway. Second Sino-Japanese war breaking out. Everything else in the world is looking so peachy. Oh, no, wait. Syria has just moved in and is cutting off a huge swath of the Ottoman forces down here. Did they get overextended? Peace deal signed. Wait, wait, wait. So what happened? What happened? They they lost? Oh, Armenia. Armenia took back a whole bunch of its stuff and the second Melbourne uprising. Okay, so Australia also experiencing a little bit of stuff down here. Wait, that's say Egypt just declared war against the German Empire? For what? For what? For what? Did, did you genuinely just do that? Why? Egypt? Among all things, why? Oh, El Salas Ultimatum. That means, yep, Germany, Germany, Germany at war again. 100%. Yes. Wait, guys, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. After all this time, now we finally may be able to do something. Okay, Armenia. Armenia is allied with Persia. Okay, that is the thing down here. What about you? The independence of Georgia is guaranteed by Germany. Okay, um, do I do I want to instead go after Armenia? What about you, Great Imam? You are no, no, no. You you only guaranteed. Okay, we're gonna start justifying on you. Maybe we can get some resources up in the north then. Let's just go ahead and start justifying then. Turkey has joined the Cerveo Accords. Okay, I don't want to also be fighting on this side because the Ottoman Empire is dead and now we have Turkey. The Entente is coming to reclaim Europe. That is something that's happening over on this side. Okay, and Russia. Russia is now marching and attacking things from the other side. Okay, well, well, let's see if they'll be able to hold them off here, because this is going to get interesting. United Baltic Governance declared war on Riga. Oh, look at this. Look at how nice and thick this looks. Free Baltica. Oh, that, that's such a cool, cute little name. Look at you. Look at your beard. I love this. I'm feeling jealous, man, and I love your hat. This is a look, buddy. Wait, Free Baltic. Oh, wait, hold on. Did they sign up with the Russians? No, they're not in the Russians. They just declared war on everyone else on their own. What? Extensive construction. Everyone get in the army. We need more troops, more everything here. Oh, wait, when did I lose all of my steel? Okay, that's not happening here. Uh, coming to France, Russian Empire. Oh, wait, my war goal is ready. Okay, no guarantee, no guarantee. Nope, just military access. You know what? That means we can finally start doing something. We are saving the Balkans, not Baltics. The ca ca Caucasus, we're saving the Caucasus. Prepare your Caucasus for me. Well, I'm on, mate. Time for some fun then. Let's go. Oh, they're just going to throw themselves at me. Oh, you want to attack? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I would love to let you bleed out. So let me just take half my forces that are over on the side and I will move them away. If you want to bait and throw yourself into me, by all means. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just let this happen. Just continuously attack over the mountains, please. I would greatly appreciate it if you just did that. Yep, 287 versus 5,000. I, I think we can just grind away your military and equipment and everything that you built up this entire time. That seems perfectly reasonable to me. Wait, hold on. These are all irregular cavalry. Could I just, could I just push? Could I push? I think I could push in here. Wait, there's justification. Who would be justifying it? Persia is justifying against me. Wait, 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 wait. I just declared a war. I just declared. No, you all are not doing this to me right now. 
Okay, just move all of our forces off the front line. If they go and attack me here, then this is perfectly fine. Just let them let them throw themselves against me. We're going to keep on grinding them away. Persian aggression, who do we ask for help? Okay, yep, 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 yep. Hold on. Do we approach Germany and see if they will help us, or do we just wait for the Persians to attack us? Oh my god. The Persians claim they wish to unite the Azerbaijani people under one flag, but we see through those lies. This is just Iran trying to spread its influence further. Do we stand alone? Who, who's allied with them? Who's allied with them? No, um, they are allied with Armenia. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go ahead and spawn these divisions we've been recruiting. We've, we've been storing up equipment the entire time, and now we actually have some manpower. Oh, I've lost 2,000 versus their 30,000. This is actually pretty bad. We're going to be surrounded on all sides. I guess we have to ask Germany. Will, will Germany do anything for us? Nope, nobody wants to help us. Germany's a client. Fuck. Okay. All right. All right. All right. They've been throwing themselves at the front line. We are desperately holding out. It is us versus a lot of them. Oh my God. Ugh. It's getting a little dicey down here. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Send some support. Help them out. England declares war in the United States. What? Wait. Am I getting help? Am I getting help? Oh my God. The Germans. Oh God. I can see. Germany. Gesundheit. Thank you. Germany is helping me. A non-aggression pack. Sure. I will take a non-aggression pack with you. Wait. What did you do? do though who did you declare war on oh oh god no 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 i'm not at war with russia am i no no i'm not okay 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 so it's not that it's not that they are just at war with wait who are they at war with what is even happening oh sarkatelvo georgia okay they they're the ones that did that okay well we just need to continue to hold out here for as long as i can can i recruit more yes i can send as many troops as we can to the front line and hold on out service by requirement everyone needs to get into the army we need as many men as we possibly can wait 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 wait, wait. sarotelvo sarotelvo you better not lose on this side i don't have the men to be able to defend this side of my border no 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 please 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 not that do not break through for the love of god do not break through we still are trying to hold out over on this side okay maybe we can go and attack one of these sides here if we can break through over on this we can cut some of their units off that should weaken their position so maybe we won't need as much yes 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 these are cut off come on come on come on come on wake shorten the line that allows us to shore up additional other parts of the line these guys are holding out here in the south excellent perfect that wipes out those that means we can shore up and push the line a little bit further up oh oh don't you collapse on me come on hold 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 we are holding out against the persians how many we have killed eighty four thousand. i have only lost 12 okay all right if we can just continue to hold on this side we'll be able to push ourselves and actually do some serious damage there we go okay we pushed a little bit further we've taken some of their settlements and now they're tr trying to attack me iceland capitulated okay well let's just move in on the side wipe out some more of their units we're holding down here in the south we're actually doing remarkably well fall of washington what's even happening over here okay pacific states and oh the syndicalists the syndicalists are doing quite strong over here okay oh we just need to push over here into the caucuses perfect there's a horse he wiped all right they can try and push all they want but it's not going to work we instead are going to break past them as soon as this is through nope never mind it does not work okay we have to wait Eid once again and i'm not able to do anything we're just trying to recruit as many men as we possibly can actually war economy i can go on to that that's actually going to be useful for me oh my god they are hurling themselves at me over here okay there we go we can just break on through there we go wipe out the tank wonderful we're moving our way in just need to keep on baiting them forward. How many Persians have I wiped out? I've wiped out 234,000 Persians just in holding this line as they continuously throw against me. Okay, well, let's see here. Keep on moving forward. Let's do this. Let's do this. Keep on going. I think I cut them off. Did I cut them off? I don't know if I cut them off. Hey, we cut off this entire army. German-Japanese war. Why is that happening over there? Hold up. What? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Move through. Cut down these guys. Keep on moving up. Are they still attacking us down here? No, we're actually oh no never mind they still are okay we're still racking up kills down there which is just going to increase our war score all right keep on going give them all what's happening oh russia is getting pushed back okay and the great caucasian imam made his dead okay 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 that means we can seize everything right yes i can seize everything wonderful we're gonna see some resources some chromium oil everything oh beautiful 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 with azerbaijan done that means we can democratically free everyone else in the south who is designed to design di dined they've dined to a Press us. All right, now what are we gonna do with the Republic? Release the Mountain Republic as a puppet? No, nah, military occupation is the only answer. It it has to be the case. There's not anything else for me to do here. Ooh, Ukraine is really pushing into Russia now. They're right outside the gates of Moscow, and Germany has invaded in the north. Uh, the Commune of France is kind of being pushed. No, wait, no, they're slightly pushing into Germany, but not by much. As soon as Germany is able to divert its forces over here from the Eastern Front, they are screwed. So you know what? You know what? I think it is time that we start attacking. We need to start attacking 
pushing and pushing through and all these different sides here and see if we can break through. Is it going to be an awful and slow grind? Yes, but I think that we will be able to break through eventually. Oh my God, it's 1941. We are still fighting over this. This is going to take freaking forever, man. Rebalka. Oh, hey, the Baltic states over here fell. Riga. Oh my God, Riga, you are looking thick. Thick, Riga. Oh my Lord. Okay, now next up on here, break through Tabriz. If we can just take this over on this spot, that is going to seize an entire supply point from them. They won't be able to supply their troops over on the side at all. Oh, dead Kaiser. Okay, that's happening. All right, we've seized all it. Wait, no, they still have supply. They still have supply. How do they still have supply? I've killed 360,000 of them. Oh my God. Come on, man. Just give me the opportunity. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's three caught. Let's murder those. Three more on this side. Go wipe these here. Wait, no. What am I doing? What am I doing? Don't click these things. No, yes, we're wiping them out. Oh, whoa. Wait, it's this easy to push? I thought because of Armenia, it would have been harder to push on this side. Okay, let's just keep on going over here then. There we go. There's a breakthrough in Armenia. Just keep on going through. Yes, Armenia gone. That wipes them out. We seize all their weapons. We conquer all this other stuff. All right, come on. If we can just push through over on this side, we'll be able to break through. We just need to continuously keep on attacking their forces, grind away at our men and lives. It's fine. And then we'll be able to push past these into the mountains. All right, here we go. Hold them out. Just let them try and bait their way in. We'll surround their units gradually and destroy. And perfect. Fall of Petrograd. Yeah, Russia is falling. It doesn't matter. We are wiping out all of these Persian units. And there's Tehran. There's the capital. All right, let's just move in as quickly as we can. There we go. There's the capital surrounded and the units inside of it destroyed. Excellent. And we celebrate Eid with the fall of Tehran. Go ahead and connect that to our real network. That means that we'll be able to supply ourselves and then subsequently destroy all their units. Wonderful. God, I am actually incredibly proud of this. I did not anticipate anything like this happening. So, you know, I think we're pretty good now. Let's just go ahead and attack. Just, just, just keep on moving. Was that a peace deal? Oh, Vilnius Accords. Hellenic Republic has joined the Reichs Pact. Hey, things are cleaning up over here. All right, all right. Russia's at peace, lost a whole bunch of territory again, and now the German Empire is moving on the attack. There we go. There's all these troops over here in the east caught, or no, not the east, the west. Let's go ahead and move these in and crush them. Okay, how many have we lost so far? Oh, 45. Yeah, we actually lost a good percentage of our country's population uh, since we've been attacking. But you know what? It's okay. New England declared war on the Pacific states. Oh, that is happening then. Okay, well, if that is happening, wait, does that mean Canada is not war with the United States? Is that happening? Was weren't they a puppet? Oh, they are. Which means is Canada involved? Yep, Canada is now at war with the United States. Okay. <laughs> oh, that, that's not good. That's not good for them at all. Why would they do that? I guess it's someone else's job to clean up the Middle East then. Me. There we go. Move our way in. Grind them out. Wonderful, wonderful. Keep the, up the attack, boys. Keep on going. The fact that the Azerbaijani people are able to just completely turn the tables on the Persians after years of war. When did this begin? 1939? Maybe 1940? Yeah, no, it, it's been going on for years. Switch to aggressive. Let's go. Just push. There's no way they can hold us out now. Wonderful, wonderful Persians. Persia falls. We're going to seize Armenia. We're going to seize Persia. We're just going to go ahead and seize everything in here. And I think that we have achieved our rightful position in this world, if I do say so myself. That's looking nice and thick. All right, we need to ease up conscription because we, we don't need all these people. Okay, we're going to do that and demobilize our economy. And then the fate of Persia, military occupation, military occupation. We cannot risk that any of these people are going to turn against us ever again. And also, it's hilarious that we're doing all that with the same kind of units over like th this is it we, we had such low manpower which meant that we had to put in field hospital but at least we actually had the resources i still don't have enough factories i still don't have enough factories for what i want it's fine i guess we'll just we'll just continue to not be able to do anything i still cannot get research institutions or technology sharing because i am that weak it's just suppress resistance i guess mm, now is there anything else we can do let's see russia we're not going to challenge afghanistan uh no wait that's the dominion of afghanistan we are not getting ourselves invested over on that side iraq on on the other hand, wait, 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 wait. You all are at war with Germany. Listen, Azerbaijan is just bringing peace to the Middle East. That, that's it. Guys, guys, just chill. It's okay. Socialist Republic of Italy has collapsed. Uh, uh, oh, oh, the French state took the south. That's what it is. The fate of Kurdistan release a Kurdish state. No, nope. military occupation is the only answer. Fate of Karzigadir. No, nope. military occupation. Fate of Kuzestan, military occupation. We're losing all our stability and everything, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Crack down with the police. Oh my God, what did I get so much of other stuff, but I'm now, oh, I'm missing so much artillery. Okay, well, I stole all this other goods from other countries through conquering them, so that's fine at least. Uh, yep, yeah, this is gonna take a while to replenish at this rate. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, well, Iraq, I hope you got some artillery because I'm going to steal it here soon. Dang, 1942, Germany, you're still fighting France. You have not been able to push through any of these parts. I guess that means you're distracted, so I just can continuously push down here. Uh, Iraq, 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 Iraq. Uh, I'm sorry, Yassin al-Hashimi. You're not going to get a chance to do anything. Uh, uh, Hashimi Shimi, get wrecked. Oh, wait, hold up. Uh, Syria was over on this side. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, all right, all right. Syrians, you're not pushing into here. Nope, nope, nope. We're going to cut you off first. And yes, thank you. Give me lend -lease. Send me all the equipment you possibly can. I greatly appreciate it. Yes! Oh, there goes Iraq. Okay, that knocks them out. We got some bombers, among other things. Very nice. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. This is there's a lot more here than I anticipated. Um okay, okay. Well, could I join the Reichspacht? Sultan of Egypt took five states. Okay, well, you know what? You know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hold, just hold. We're gonna be bleeding out manpower and everything else here, but we're able to wipe out some more of their troops. We just need to shore up our line, build up the defenses, and then we'll be good. And just keep on accepting his lend leases. Just send me all this equipment you possibly can. Oh my god, are we trapped back into the exact same thing again of me having? to wait for them to continuously throw themselves at my line in order for me to be able to do anything okay let's go ahead and try and see if we can push in a couple little places see if we can wipe out a couple of their units there we go there we go there's a couple of them wiped there we go here's another group wipe those out artillery getting upgraded okay okay we can start to push our way down here through the desert are there any mate no okay i have to take out the sultanate of egypt in order to be able to capitulate all of those which means i'm going to have to push down through all of this into syria okay there we go there's another group wiped trap those kill these and yes, keep on supplying me with airframes. I would greatly appreciate that. And wonderful, another group wiped. How many have we done at this point? We have lost 14, oh my God. Wow, we have killed a lot. Oh, never mind, never mind. I thought that that was actually mostly us, but nope, it's the Germans getting involved in all this. We are still getting a huge amount of war support. Not war support, uh, 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 war contribution for all this. There we go, there's Damascus. That's all that fallen. There's Holmes and there's Syria. Okay, that's Syria gone, which means, can I take everything? I can take everything, wonderful. Let's go ahead and get you. And quick, make a beeline down here. We need to be able to take Egypt as quickly as we can. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Move, move, move. We're gonna take the port. Yes, Cairo, maybe. They're not even gonna be able to react. Just swoop in, just swoop in. Quick, quick, quick. Wrap around, wrap around. Come on. Quick little zoomy tactics. There's nothing they can do to stop us. There we go. Now move in here, down through the south. Come on, cut them off. Yes, Benny Swift is getting caught. And the Sultanate of Egypt. Wait, with them being gone, that means... Oh God, that means everything over here is dead. Okay, okay. All right, well, let's take the land that we wanted in priority over here first. Ukra Ukraine, Ukraine, why would you try to take this over here? No, 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 this is my land. Thank you very much. Oh my God, we've taken Mecca. We've taken all of it. Wonderful. Yes, yes. Look at this, Azerbaijan claiming its rightful place as the dominant, true democratic power in the Middle East. You know, we're going to stop all of them from being able to fight each other because there's no one to fight if they're all conquered. That's a great policy, you know. Mm, Yemen, mm, I think we need to clean up your civil war, perhaps. Oh, whoa, what do we have down here? Union of Britain is naval invading Africa against France. Okay, I'm actually surprised the war has gone on as long as it has. Germany, you've, um, you've been having some trouble over here. Oh, Chicago, wait. Oh, oh, Pacific States, you are roaring back against the commies. Oh, and Canada actually is, uh, you all are at peace. All right, United States actually is looking safe now. Turkey declared war on the sublime revolutionary state of Sakratelvo. Wait, wait, if they did that, that means they're at war. They're at war with Germany. They're at war with Germany. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the damn phone. That means I can do this from this side. 185 days? Oh, sure. Sure, 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 sure. I can't believe that in the middle of all this war, the reason why Germany has probably not made progress is because they're dealing with the Austrian Empire here in the South. That is insane. And I am, I am running out of manpower. Holy crap. Oh, oh, because I'm demobilizing. Right. Uh, we're going to need to go back up to service by requirement here soon because I need to be able to maintain all this. In fact, Yemen, we're just going to say that you get to live. I, I I, physically do not have the manpower to be able to sustain an attack against you. Yep, I'm out of manpower. Yep, that, that's not going to work so well out for me. Wake, we're going to need to go over here and design a division whose entire purpose is literally just to garrison. 50 with irregular cavalry. Yep, way better suppression. Because if I replace this here, if you could check uh, in Kaiser Redux, mobile warfare, cavalry has one less. So it's actually a lot better to just use... Uh, Use these. And then maybe I know I have military police. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We're going to go ahead and do that. Something like a hundred, half the amount that we're going to need garrison wise. Oh, no wonder Iraq freaking hates us here. <laughs> 
Okay, that, that explains things. Uh, well, that gave me a big boost in manpower then. Am I gonna release? No, military occupation is the only answer. Oh, New England declaring war on the combined syndicates. That means that the Canadians are gonna be going after them down here. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Are the Germans losing? No, they're winning against the Austrians, but the French are now making gains against them on this side. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Um, I really am going to need to go up to the Turks here in, a, in about 50 days. It's Eid. We celebrate. And please, please, for the love of God, Germany, don't fall. Don't fall. This, they're, they're reaching into the Rhineland. There's the fall of New York City. Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Pacific States. Are they teaming up? Very curious. And the Spanish Civil War is still going on. How many years has this been going? What the hell? How long has this been going on? All right. There we go. There's justification on Turkey done. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's join this. And maybe from this, we'll be able to join into the Reich's Pact. We're going to push through all along this entire side. They will not be able to stop us. We're just going to keep on going. All right. Come on. Send over the planes. Just keep on getting lend lease. Try and support this as well as we can. We, we are not in a good position air wise, but it doesn't matter. Oh, we are running out of manpower again. Uh, can I? No, I can't go up to service by requirement. I'm just going to run out of troops. Well, just see if we can go around then, because this is going to take some serious losses here for us. All right, surround Trebizond. Keep on moving in. Keep on moving in. Secure the port. Wipe out the Turkish troops. Wonderful. Do they have the men? I don't think they have the manpower here. Come on. Keep on pushing in. All right. All right. Keep pushing this side. Surround more of their ports. Don't let them cut off. Wonderful. Okay. There's another group in the north. Caught and wiped. Excellent. And now that we have that, we can move over to an aggressive form of attack. There we go. Keep on pushing in. Oh, God. We are running out of manpower fast. Here, pushing through the north. We need to completely cut off all their forces. Don't let them be able to reach the ports. Yes. There they are. There's the entire army. And they're pushing over from the side, which means... There we go. There we go. Push on in. Let them, let them, let them surround. Let them surround. If they spread themselves too thin, we'll be able to just push inside from the other point. And there's the Constantinople. Okay. Nope. We pushed into from the other side. We crossed the Bosphorus, baby. Fall of Constantinople. Turkey pit capitulates. Get our military access over here from Germany, from Poland, from everything else. That way we can move our troops in from the other side and we're going to need to go ahead and help them over here because Bulgaria isn't doing anything despite the fact that they roared back. Nope, instead we are going to need to go help out the Ukrainians in the north and launch a concentrated push. Oh god, I will not actually be able to break through any of this. Their troops are way stronger in Europe apparently than any of the fighting I've been doing in the Middle East. I'm actually not able to break through. Will they do it? They will, but oh my god, I'm gonna take so much damage i don't have mechanized I, I don't i don't have anything i oh god i forgot to research i don't have the resources for any of this here maybe if i instead helped over with austria maybe that would be better oh the spanish civil war finally ended in may of 1944 holy crap <laughs> because i'm not a major player in europe i haven't been able to do anything except well i mean i i cleaned up the middle east so there's that to be said but i'm also running out of uh, out, of, out of manpower again so great. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go ahead and start deleting divisions, getting ourselves some manpower, and we'll start concentrating our divisions so that they'll uh, they'll be a little bit more powerful. I'm not gonna need my cavalry or anything else like that, and I'm not going to need these artillery divisions. We'll just go ahead and delete those, get the manpower back, and be able to use those for other stuff. And now that means we can help push over on this side. There we go. There's Pressburg. Come on, come on. We're cutting them off. Hey! Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. We surrounded them from all sides. Come on. Come on, come on. Let's let's go here to Vienna itself. Yes, there's Vienna. There we go. There's another one surrounded. And we're wiping out even more troops. Okay, okay. We're actually making a difference here. Hey, the Austrian Empire capitulates. We did it. We did it. We actually helped do it. Do you know there's only one option here, folks? Azerbaijan, the Democratic Republic of Azerbaijan needs to take his rightful claim in the world and the sun and in general, the entirety of the universe. Look at that. Look at that. Azerbaijan, democratic Azerbaijan with still all the horrible negative effects of the German investments. I, like, like we did all of this. We, we did a remarkably good job, all things considered. And I think that we're done. Like we're not at war with any other powers. Any of the other stuff that we would do to justify at this point would be to go and attack Britain. But I don't have a Navy. I can't do anything. Instead, we just cleaned up control control across the entire Middle East in what is a beautiful, beautiful golden color of our golden empire of Azerbaijan and firmly elected a balding official of Mamad Yusuf Jafarov. Everyone, this has been Stakui with a Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser Redux A to Z playthrough. I gotta say, this was definitely a more interesting thing in having to, um, having to be constrained by the democratic path, of which there is no actual path here for a nation like Azerbaijan with no focus tree. Please let me know what it is you think of the wheel in the comments 
section and also if there's any other types of things or things that I should add to this to make it a little bit more interesting because I want to I want to keep the rest of this whole massive playthrough that this thing is going to be to be a challenge but either way I appreciate all of you watching thank you very much for joining in everyone and I hope you have a good rest of your day remember to like comment and subscribe and thank you all once again goodbye everyone